there moving yep. forward. Yep. Let's be real though. What's going to actually happen is, you know, Butler's not going to want to come back. They're going to trade him for a lot less than he's worth. Carl Anthony Towns is going to be disgruntled. They're going to trade him for a lot less than he's worth. And we're going to be stuck with Andrew Wiggins and the Wolves aren't going to make the playoffs. <laughs> and, we're, and, and they're going to be rebuilding all over again. And, and the, That's the Minnesota way. And the, and, the, and the messed up thing is I feel like Jimmy Butler's not one of those guys that many teams would trade for right now to con- – well, one, because the Warriors to contend, but just in general. But you can't, you can't, contend, but you can't contend right yeah, now. The well, idea yeah. of contending yeah. doesn't make sense anymore because the Warriors have boogie cuts. Jimmy, well, Jimmy Butler to OKC well, who's can even, they contend? Who's even out there right now to trade for? That's right. the issue. Like right. all the, the top guys are already settled in their spots now. So yeah. Who do you trade Jimmy for? Who do you trade Cat, I, I, Cat for? I'm just I'm thinking unrealistically trading. If you trade Jimmy Butler to OKC, are they a contender? I mean, who who do they have to get? Yeah. I don't know who. Let's they're, say let's say they keep they keep Paul George and they keep uh, Westbrook. So that would be the only way they make that trade though is to get trade Carmelo. Let's just, yeah. Let's just say let's just say let's just say un, <laughs> just, doing that. I just say un, unreal unrealistically. If you trade Carmelo for yeah. Jimmy Butler, does that make them a contender? I think so. They're the second best team in the West if, they, if you get those three guys still here. Well, it's plus Steven Adams. You know, I'm, Steven I'll Adams. Put them over, I'll put them over Houston as the second best team in the West. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. But that, I mean, that's not happening. Now we're, now we're really playing GM. <laughs> now, now we're, we're really playing GM. But Trevor, Trevor is the only GM who doesn't know anything about salary cap issues. Wow, just so many shots. Jordan had to, Jordan had to end the interview like that because Trevor Stern right, right. with the dunk. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna finish it, man. Trevor, though, thank no, you so but, much. But, man. Uh, but who do you but who do you trade Jimmy for? What can you get for him? Or nah, cat? yeah, yeah. And best scenario, uh, cat, cat, you might be able to get. I'm, I'm gonna go back to what teams. I said I earlier know. before you came on, Trevor. Like all those trades should have happened before the NBA draft. That was the only way all this was going to make sense. That's when, you know, we didn't know how everything was going to shake out in free agency. There was draft picks. There were guys available. There were, there were talent on the table. And the Wolves didn't jump at any of it. Because they really thought, Tibbs really thought, Butler was going to sign this extension. And then it was just proven so wrong. So wrong. I, I think best case you get Jalen Brown for Jimmy, maybe, right? Um, best the, case. The Celtics <laughs> have, have said time after time that none of those guys are available. For Jimmy yeah, Butler, Tatum, Tatum, not do Tatum's not available. Do Brown's not if available. If you're if you're the Celtics, you wouldn't do that. Jalen no. Brown for Jimmy Butler? They won't, they won't even do it for Kawhi. No. Oh, really? No, I didn't see. I didn't hear that. You wouldn't trade Jimmy Butler for Jalen Brown? I would. Trev, you wouldn't? Uh, not really. I mean, at the end of the day, Jalen Brown's going to be another Jimmy Butler or better. He's going to be so like why? And uh, he's I younger. Don't, I wouldn't know right now. That's that's what I said about I'm, Zachary. I'm, I'm going to keep Jalen Brown's rookie contract right now and then keep building off that. And, you know, and then once Al Horford's off the books, he could bring another star in to replace him type thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Trevor, thank you so Jimmy much. We can sit here and play fantasy GM all all day, but we got we got to wrap it up. We got to go enjoy our Fourth of July. You got a family. You go enjoy your kids. Appreciate it, man. Best of luck. It's been it's been fun to follow your career though, from the Gophers to overseas, and I hope it continues to be successful. I appreciate it. Thanks.